What's going on you guys? My name is Ben Can. I know it's been a while. I've been behind the camera pretty much this whole summer, but today we're gonna to be converting my Mustang to manual brakes. You might ask, why am I going to manual brakes? Why would you ever wanna do that? Um, well, let's do a little flashback. I took my Mustang up to Willwood to see if I installed my brakes correctly. So, huge shout out to Kyle and Mike at Willwood for helping me out. Mike checked out my whole car, went through my brakes, and he told me I installed my brakes correctly. The only thing was my booster wasn't making any vacuum. So he said my brakes were worse than manual brakes. They were just awful. And the proportion valve was out of tune. So he helped me adjust it properly. So anyways, uh, Mike suggested that I convert my car over to manual brakes. So a uh, huge shout out to him. He hooked me up with a new uh, master cylinder. So that's what we'll be installing today. Uh, another thing I noticed, my firewall was flexing. Uh, that's not because of Willwood, uh, it's just in general. Mustang firewalls, they flex a lot. The super thin, it's like paper thin firewall. So I'm gonna be installing a little reinforcement plate on the firewall. It was only 35 bucks, I have low expectations, but if it works out, that'll be really cool. I know the Trans Am racers, they have like crazy like bars that connect to the shock tower to prevent the firewall from flexing. But if $35 works or makes it even better, that would be awesome. So yeah, we'll be installing both of those things today. Another reason why I wanted to switch over to manual brakes is just for better feel. I've heard so much about manual brakes and the problem with power brakes is that you're gonna have inconsistent braking and you're just relying on another system. But anyways, before we start, please subscribe and like and share the video. That would help me a lot. Uh, but yeah, let's get to it. Let's pull the Mustang in the backyard. So before I took the car apart, I checked to see what the pedal leverage was and I found it to be six to one, which is where you really want it to be. And I also checked to see the push rod engagement to see if it was straight, which it was. So after I took the old booster out, I matched the new master cylinders push rod with the old booster, but I had to make it a little bit longer due to adding the plate to the firewall. It was a little tricky. So what I had to do is I got out a tap and die set and I used the die to add some extra threads to one of the push rods. My basic process was that I would make a little adjustment and then I would install it into the car and attach it to the brake pedal and see how the length was. And then I cut it down so that I can make it the right length. It took me a bunch of times. Each little adjustment would make the pedal too high too low but at the end of the day I got to a pretty good length that was similar to the old booster but was a little bit longer and placed the brake pedal in a pretty good position so the next thing I ended up doing was drilling some holes in the firewall plate just to make it as sturdy as possible I reached out to a couple people about welding it onto the car but everyone just told me to drill some holes in it and just bolt it to the firewall so that's what I did <laughs> After taking off the old brake lines, I realized that they weren't going to be usable. They were completely mangled. Even though I used the proper wrenches, I don't know, the metal is just really soft and it's really easy to mess up. So I had to make my own brake lines and I had to learn how to flare them, which ended up being a pretty fun thing. It just took a lot of time to get it perfect. Huge shout out to Darren Wright from the Burbank Choppers for helping me out and teaching me how to do it. All I have to say is it's pretty simple. It just takes time and if you make sure it's perfect, you end up with a perfect flare. So this time I decided to bench bleed the master cylinder in the car. 
but I was not happy with the results at all. The last time I installed the Wilwood Master Cylinder, I decided to do it outside the car and it worked out great. But this time I just wanted to experiment, but ended up not being able to get out all the air. Outside the car, you're able to get a full stroke into the Master Cylinder, but inside the car with the attached to the brake pedal, I was not able to get a full stroke. So, you know, there were still air bubbles left in it. I honestly hate brake fluid more than anything. As you can see, I destroyed my paint in one area. Just so we are clear, no, I'm not jacking the car up from the oil pan. I'm jacking the car up from the cross member. So instead of bleeding the brakes the traditional way with one person in the car and one person outside the car, I decided to buy a Mighty Vac vacuum pump. So you just pump it and it pulls out the air bubbles from the brake lines. It worked. I had trouble getting vacuum. I ended up going back to the traditional way where someone's in the car and then someone's on the outside. <laughs> So after I bled the car, I had my dad go into the Mustang and pump the brakes while I looked at the master cylinder to see if it moved. And to my surprise, it didn't really move at all. The new plate really helped. There is some movement, but it's so little, it takes a keen eye to see it. So for $35, I definitely recommend it. So before we leave, I'm gonna have my dad join us just in case I break down or something, but I think we're pretty good. Everything looks dry. Let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, you're on camera now. So. Okay, well, make sure to check the brakes and stuff. Yep. I haven't driven my car in three, four weeks. Well, it shouldn't have taken that long to do the whole thing. Yeah, I just spent my time. Yeah. All right, first brake tests. We'll be full. Oh, oh my god. Geez. <laughs> this is gonna be gnarly. That's awesome. The brakes are really good. I'm just scaring them because how good it stops. This is insane. I'm actually really surprised. You don't need rear disc brakes. This guy doesn't want me to get rear disc brakes. He's a big drum fanboy. <laughs> I'm a performance guy as long as it looks cool. Wow. Ah. You have no clue how good these feel. I can tell already. No, but the feel, yeah. it's just, there's nothing like, I don't know what I've been doing this whole time. This feels so good. So you didn't like the no. power brakes? No, power brakes suck. You like the spare power brakes? Yeah, this is, no 
no-brainer. Well, the thing is, the booster wasn't working. Well, no, it was too small for the... Yeah, it wasn't getting enough value. Yeah, it wasn't getting enough value. But and this stops, like, insanely well. I'm barely even putting in effort, the car stops. You're going to have to drive this right now. You haven't driven this in a while? Nope. Maybe do the brakes up in the stop sign. Kind of scared. Wow. Pretty good. Oh, you can go. Dad, let him go. What? You stalled it. These shoes are not made for driving. Yeah. I need my professional driving <laughs> shoes on. As before, the pedal travel was only like about two inches with the booster. There's no feel. But this goes all the way down and up. You have so much travel. Jesus. Dad, what the hell? This guy's an amateur. Is that gnarly? Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> I don't know. This is unbelievable. Yeah, this is this is awesome. Pretty good. I, it blew my expectations away completely. It, I don't know. What did you think it was gonna be like? Um. Well, I didn't think it'd be that different, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like it just a, feels. It just reacts nicer because when the with the power booster on, it was more like. I don't know, you couldn't really, it just felt like it was like there was something in, not there yeah. between the brake pedal and the brakes. Yeah. Like it was like, and the pedal didn't move that much. It feels like I have like a huge booster or something, just like something crazy yeah. that just stops the car. I don't know, it's transformed the car just doing that. I didn't know how bad it was before. Like. <laughs>